but uh, but they uh, I think they're all they're all in line and, and uh, uh, on top of that the thank yous to the Bronco fans I see Edgar Kaiser back there Edgar Kaiser thank you so much because if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be with the Broncos you made that happen for me and uh, and and then we got a guy that, that came in here that I think is the uh, the best owner in professional football and professional sports. Um, guy that wants to win, and uh, that's that's what it's all about. He he goes beyond his means and does everything he can to win. And, and as a football player, that's all you can ask for. And as a guy that at, at the top uh, wants to win, because as a football player, if he wants to win, you got a chance to win. But if he doesn't care about winning, then it, it's tough to win at our at the at the player level. If if we don't have that from the top, and uh, the organization. I mean, I mean, I can go through the Mr. Bowen, not only a great owner, but I consider him a great friend. Um, uh, you know, Fred the Bulldog Fleming saved my life, my, my life the last three years, and and uh, I've been an unbelievable help to me. Uh, Jim Sacamano, uh, there's the guy that never brings good news, but. I, I, <laughs> I love him, and he's 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 uh, had to deal with me, which is tough. He's uh, he's been great. Bill Harpole's taking care of us. I mean, uh, Doug West. I mean, those guys that work behind the scenes that uh, um, have have just been buddies of mine and and helped me so much. Uh, Steve Antonopoulos, 16 years, has kept me in one piece. Um, He's kind of like uh, he's kind of like my mother. I, I, my mom always used to say, and when I started playing football, she'd say, "You know, I raised you, and I tried to take so good care of your body, and fed you well, and all this stuff. And now you turn around and go do something, and all you do is beat it up." And so that was my mom. said, "You know, she didn't like the, she loved the game, but didn't like me getting beat up." But then there's and that's where Greek came in because Greek was always putting it back together. And uh, for 16 years. Uh, He's a guy that uh, is your best friend when you're not hurt and a guy that you can't stand when you are. And then as soon as you're not hurt, you love him again. But uh, he's a guy that uh, is a great trainer, um, a guy that does everything he can to get you back on the field. But uh, bottom line is uh, he's always had – he has the player's best interest in mind. And you can't say that about all the trainers in the league. And, and uh, after 12 surgeries, a lot of uh, uh, rehab time, Greek, I'm going to miss you. I don't know why I'm crying. I'm not going anywhere. I'll still be able to see you. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. On this last... Gary Kubiak. My room dog for nine years. Great coach. I mean, you know, the only thing I'm not going to miss about Coob is when he was my roommate up in Greeley, and uh, his family was usually down in Texas, so we'd have the weekends off, and Gary usually stayed there. So I'd come home because Janet and the kids were home, so I'd come back for, you know, we'd come home Saturday night and go back Sunday night. So get one night at home. So I'd go back at night, you know, go back there Sunday night, and I'd walk in, and Gary'd be in front of the TV, and we'd have two little separate rooms, and Gary'd be in front of the TV, and I'd see him all wrapped up in my blanket. You know, and I, you know, the bed, bed was nice and made and everything. I go look at my room. His, look in his room. His room is like perfect. His bed's made everything. He's ripped my room up. He's took my blanket and he's taken my blanket out there to sleep with, and then he leaves it out there and never put it back. So Coob, I'll never forgive you for not putting my blanket back. But uh, uh, great friend, great coach, uh, and the guy that uh, was, uh, made my job easy because uh, of his knowledge of the game and, and uh, him knowing me. You think this is the first time I've retired. Coop's talked me back into retirement 12 times or back into playing 12 times because I've quit 12, you know, 12 times previous to this. I've quit, but Coop always talked me back into it until this time. And then, uh, you know, last but not least, uh, uh, this guy. Oh. 
He's best. He is the absolute best at uh, winning football games. And thank God uh, I got a chance to play for him before, uh, before I was done. If I had one wish, I wish I could have all, I'd have two wishes. I'd keep my kids and my wife, and I'd be 28, because I think it'd just be beginning. And uh, that's what I'm going to miss, is that I can't hang on and, and be around, because the Denver Broncos are going to be around a long time because of Mike Shanahan and, and his ability uh, to coach football teams and, 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 and the relationship that we had. He came in my second year, and, you know, and he, he, he tells me this today. He's, if, he says, I was only 30 years old when I came. I said, if I'd have known you were 30 years old when you came in, I'd have never listened to you. <laughs> Not that I... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as, uh, you know, our position coach and, and my personal coach, what he did uh, teaching me the game and, and just making me the player that I am today, um, I couldn't have done it without him. He's, uh, as I said, there's... There's, he's the best. Uh, um, and the Denver Broncos are going to be winners for a long, long time because, because of the, these two guys up here and, and uh, 